We need to discuss something. First of all, it will give me the Daily Nation, Mwalimu. There's a picture there on the front page of the Daily Nation of power women driving politics in Kenya. And we have Chai Tingilu, Anwe Guru, Mamangina Kenyatta, Margaret Kenyatta, uh, Rachel Ruto, Aida Odinga, Martha Karua, and Nancy Gitao. Then there's something that I came across yesterday, which is the bane of what we need us to discuss. Tanzanian President Samia Suluhu has revealed that she still kneels and submits before her husband when serving him, despite holding the biggest office in the country. She is not the first, nor second, but a third wife. She's the first woman in Africa to stick with her man while rising through the ranks and carried him to state house. She has brought honor to her husband amidst all the power. She has not changed her obligations as an African woman and a wife to her husband. And Molim is saying, but in Kenya, you cannot breathe comfortably near a lady with just a certificate. <laughs> Can Kenyan ladies kindly borrow a leaf from Samia Suluhu? The certificate ama ametoka rocky, rocky, rocky. <laughs> Driving school and eh, computer college. Eh. <laughs> so what is it? Molemu is saying there is no Kenyan woman <laughs> who can be like Samia Suluhu. Kenyan lady and I had a beautician shop Vera College is a wrap. And the Kwambia is a rap. I mean, you put a pedicure and a manicure. I pick a 2000 times what to five, need 10 times 33. She does not need you. By the way, Mikey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's working. I won't get given. Now, Nike, show Kanya Kubo Kubo. Is, do you believe a Kenyan woman can submit like President Samia Suluhu in a position of power in Kenya? And not just political power, even economic power. Because you've got lots of ladies who are captains of industry, who are corporate titans. So how do their husbands live? They do never hear of them. How do their husbands live? Akupeleke mpaka state house. Eh? Uyo Samia is the third wife. She's a third wife. And she's revealed that she still kneels. Mm. Yes. Eh? And prepares food. Yes. For her husband. Na nampigia magoti ya kimsavu. Now, change that to a Kenyan woman. Young guy. Ha! <laughs> Kwanza kijua kuna vile anaeza jipata hapo. Do you know it's not Kenyan women with a problem? Nichao. It is you people who turn them into monsters. Uh -uh. Yes. If you're good to a woman, she will take you to heaven. Show me. Show me one. Is your woman in a position of power? Economically? Hakijua naenda kuwa hivyo. Hata kama nataka kuwa bishop. Oo naachua hapa chini kitambo zana. He's a man. That's the reality. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I need you to give me a call guys and ladies. Because ah. you stand accused this morning. That there's not a Kenyan woman who can achieve even economic power. Forget political power. Eh? Economic power. No, who like, will still submit to her man. Now, ujue to me wajua. Unaona, next year wajua ni elections, 2022. Yeah. Tell me one presidential candidate at Achagua, a vice president lady. Show me one who has ever. Na makamu wangu atakuwa huyu. Show me one. Siyo mwe jifanya watu agenda. Show me one presidential candidate atachagua a lady. Na ule atachagua. Anaeza jibata status. By the way. <laughs> I need you to give me a call on 0711-046-105. Tafadhali. <laughs> Hit me up on social media. Facebook, Twitter, at It's My Like Again, you are Classic 105 Kenya. Hapa anavanyo CEO anafukuza kila mutu. Kila mutu. You know. Na wacha kujifanya you don't know maina. You know these things. Nemekwambio nionesha one example. 
Ladies, you stand accused. Hey. Gentlemen, do you go through this? Ah. And if you're the husband of one of these corporate bigwigs, because the majority of them are women nowadays. A big when I to be at Alala. Piga sim. Ama when you want to be a Na useme unamukaliaga. Na anapika. Na anadropiwa na bodyguard unamwambia kwenye wajiko. Piga saa hii tuone utalala wapi wewe. Najisikia hapa wewe ni mwanaume piga. Kenya. Eh. Ha. I cannot believe you've got this view of Kenyan women. 0711046105 is my number. Ana na shukrani hapo na via na V8 na bodyguards. Una mambia direct wajiko. Ah 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 what are you saying? In Kenya? Eh. Eh? Akuja apige magoti. Eh. Kenya? Eh. Unavaa goli osha hizo vyombo na sufuria ukazimama hapo na watu wale wengine akua wakague. Mpaka mende. Has your woman achieved economic power? How did she treat you? Well. Let's talk, ah? No you so we're talking about Tanzanian President Samia Suluhu. Women. Kwanza bodyguard wake amechukua say women. Look by the so way, good man. She's guarded by women. Bah! Samia Suluhu has revealed that she still kneels and submits before her husband when serving him despite holding the biggest office in the country. She's not the first, no second, but the third wife. She's the first woman in Africa to stick with her man while rising through the ranks and carried him to state house. She has brought honor to her husband amidst all the power. She has not changed her obligation as an African woman and a wife to her husband. Mulimu is saying, is there a Kenyan woman who can be like Samia Suluhu? Athman Melio is saying, I know when my girlfriend has money. Because she replies messages after an entire day. <laughs> Guy. Martin Karubi said, I wish Kenyan women anaeza shikili andoa the way huwa wana shikili a chupa za mzinga. I swear, Martin. Monique Kim said, there's no woman who cannot submit to the husband. It doesn't matter her position in the society. It all depends on how her husband treats her. If you treat her like a queen, be sure you won't force her to be submissive. It is automatic. It is automatic and I've said before, it's how you treat your women when you've got something. Because the day you don't, she's going to hold on to you. Susan, good morning, you my darling, on the conversation. The issue is Kenyan men. Women have no problem submitting. The question is, who are you submitting to? Because here they just accuse you of kichwangumu. Yet when they were when they had money when they were riding high, <laughs> was China scat chasing all over Nairobi. Then they wonder, when you get money, who you mama na mukia me badilika? Leto kula bata. Hati kula bata. Kula bata kwadini. Kula bata ijo ya walara. Tuwe walara mdini. Karubandi kwe walara. Amigo. Oh my God. Huh? Martin, good morning. You're saying Kenyan women with all the pride and selfishness, all they do is set standards where they can't even afford living to them, not unless they depend on men. Let them know that standards are not set by applying three tons of makeup and having big behinds. Let them work hard in their, and, and their success will set their standards. You can't afford a good meal or designer outfits and you're chasing your potential suitors saying they're not of your type. Utaishi yapo. Ukingoja akina maina kageni. You know they are waiting for you. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have a Kenyan woman who's like Samia Suluhu? Hello. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, my dear. Am I speaking to Mina? Yes, this is Mina. Now, um I want to comment on that story. Karibu. For women. Yeah. Me, my husband and I married him he was nothing. He was? He was nothing. He was nothing, eh? Uh -huh. He had only one pant and one shirt. Uh, sorry? He had only one pant and uh, one trouser. One trouser and one shirt? Yes. Eh? Uh -huh. And it was this lady who had graduated with a good job. Yeah. Actually, my parents didn't want to see him. 
But I stuck with him. Today, he has not made it, but I'm still pushing him to make it. You, and I still am the wife. You're the one who provides and you finance everything. I finance, uh, and actually, like a month, I'll give him like a hundred Gs. Go out for yourself, go, and go out to the boys. You give him a hundred thousand a month? Yeah, once in a while, I give a hundred, fifty, two hundred. He actually knows my ATM, he knows everything about me. Eh. I actually bought him a car. You okay, he drives my car, eh? Yeah. And people think it's him. People think the cars are his. Yeah, and I've not told anyone. But it's me. So I wonder why people say we, we ladies are bad. We're not that bad. Yeah. The cars, the houses, they are yours. Yeah, everything. But no one knows. Even my own parents don't know. I'm that successful. I hide behind him because I want him to be given respect as a man of the home. And what does he do for a living? He works, yes, but not that good because he has a certificate. But I'm pushing that we get a college to admit him to do a diploma and then rise to maybe at least a master. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I really wonder when people say ladies are bad. I, I, I don't know. I think it's just how you brought up yeah. family values and morals that your parents teach you. So okay. ladies are not that bad. Okay. And the place of a woman, whether you earn or you don't earn, whether you're a CEO or a CCO, uh, you're the wife, you're the neck. Your place is in the kitchen. Do laundry for your man. I mean, that is where you made to be. Just help us. What I'm here to help you financially, but we at the end of the day, you're the head of that family. There are decisions I can't, I can't make. Yes. I take the co-driver seat. Even if I have the money. Bas. You are the driver. You are the priest of the home. Actually, the Bible tells us our men are the priests. Koja, koja. So how do I become a priest even if I earn? You know, you know, unanifuraisha sana. Mpaka, he has your PIN number. Yes, he has my PIN number. Everything. He knows how much I earn. If I make some bonuses, he knows. You can't tell him your wife has this and she's like, okay, so why are you telling me? I know. He carries Even your card. When, when I get some money, uh, um, I tell him, can you drop me to pick this up? He drops me. He sees when I get this. When I go to my chama, he knows all the chama I attend. He knows all the circles I have. He knows everything about me. He knows all your finances. Yes. And I he... don't hide. This is how Kifita Kengani. What for? And he guides you accordingly. Yes. I don't care. Mine is, you know, I do you, my part. You know, when, when you hold something, it hurts you more or it burdens you more than the person you're hiding from. No, you know, you are the role model I've been looking for. So, uh, it's so, it's so relieving. And then you live happier knowing that you, 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 you have nothing to hide. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. And you see, even as a woman, as the, the more you hide, you die. Yeah. Then you have unclaimed assets coming to take things that should your children should have benefited from. Yeah. Thank you and, very much. As you know your position, you are the neck, he's the head. So I, I think we ladies also yeah. should come out of that point of one rainy day. That rainy day might never come. It might be unclaimed financial assets right. coming for your assets. Your children languishing in poverty. Dying of hunger, not going to good schools because you hid your money. Bas, bas, Thank you very much. Bas. Okay. Bas, goja. First time na pigia moto kayamba mara. Is that a unique woman or is that Kenyan women for that you? That is the mark scheme we are following. That's what I keep telling you. You bring all your money, give your husband. Now we remove to a certificate. Yeah, yeah, you can tell she's doing very well in the corporate world. Ana ATM, ana P namba yake, magari ni zake, ni za, za uh, nyumba, belong to the lady. But the man has to take control. I mean, right there. In front. Okay, ladies, you've heard from that lady. Yes. He has to be right there. In front. Is that woman no more? That's the way it should be. That's hey. the way it should be. That's exactly the way it should be.
Let's talk, ladies, about Tanzanian President Samia Suluhu. She's a third wife. She says she still kneels before her husband when serving him food. She submits completely. He's the head of her house. And he absolutely goes with that. She's the first woman in Africa to stick with her man while rising through the ranks and carried him to state house. They say she has brought honor to her husband. And amidst all the power, she has not changed her obligations as an African woman and a wife to her husband. The lady who called in earlier, my God. Queen B, Carol Rokao is saying, that lady Kola is truly blessed with a good husband who respects and gives an easy time. He has invested in her emotionally, mentally and physically. He's there for her. When Guinea, they are nowhere to be seen, but want to control you when you make it. And that's the problem with Kenyan men. Kelvin Mwangi is saying, for a woman to be more submissive, the man must have money in plenty. <laughs> Someone here said, Maina, so you tell that woman to leave her husband like you like telling women. <laughs> Tony Indusa, listen to this, Mwalimu. Yeah. When I got married to my wife, I was jobless and she loved me unconditionally. I am still jobless, but she has taken a loan to see me start up a business. She earns much more than I do, but she's still submissive and obedient to me. He took a loan for you, Tony. Hey. The Bible says, hmm. whoever finds a oh, good wife finds a good thing. Oh, yeah. Bell and Disha are saying, I've got enough experience to know that I would never give a man my ATM card and PIN number. Akifagi azote utalilia nani? I once had 500 shillings and he asked me to lend it to him. Imagine alikuwa na peleka mstana out. I love what I can't. I can't. Kanga Justin Kanga saying, Mina, please tell your friends not to call. They'll spoil the party created by that last caller. A good country to live in starts with such ladies. Unfortunately, they are few and facing extinction. A pair of head of state commendation. CGH, GHC, CRE. <laughs> but the way you. Why are you people assuming I'm angry with that caller? <laughs> Hello. Aina. Good morning. Baria Sabuni. Nzuri. Sasa mbono mekatizio mwana mke sima hako amemaliza kuonge. Hilo uchungu walikuwa nasikia hapa. Aki. Aki maina. Eh. Nisigie sima endele buwana. Ati ati endele. Eh. Hame kufuraisha eh. Kenyan ladies should learn from her. Kabisa. Okay, Aina. yes, takusikia. Mkol. Ni mkol. Yeah, mkol haongea elemisha hawa na wake wetu bana. <laughs> she needs yeah. more time. Kingangi? Yes. Kingangi? Yes, I can hear you. Mpatia, mpatia kayamba sosa. Sasa kayamba sosa na muongeza. Hey. Hey. Zabani, Kitu kama iyo. Kwale kwa naitu bama ni memuongeza. Mbaka matu. Sawa. Haya. <laughs> Hello, classic 105. Yes, maina. Morning. Morning to yes. Let me tell you that that lady is normal. Umejua na wakwa Kenya. Eh. Wana sikiria pata pesa. Hmm. Umekuwa kichwa. Eh. But yeah. Diyo kia kitu. Mwana ume ataka mahana pesa diyo kusema kwa nyumba. Eh. Yes. Eh. Diyo 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 mwana ume diyo kusema kwa nyumba. Bas. Even if wana tumia pesa ngapi ni kama ukua na pesa kenya unafikiria wele you are above the rule you are not kengangi yes ebu muambie the man is the head of the family chiburi ya wanawake wenye wako kenya jiwe kona pesa ya ndiyo mana unawana wa single readies eh diyo ukua single diyo una diyo ukona pesa diyo unafikiria ya pesa diyo kila kitu ok tiga hiyo kayamba Hello. Yes, Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Yeah, I'm just impressed. My name is Silas. Yes, Silas. You see the lady you was just called in. Yeah. Those are the type of ladies we need in Kenya. Oh yes. Do you think she there are many ladies like her in Kenya? 
and uh, if you see such a lady that was just called, yeah, I think is a lady who has been brought with a good mother, yes, with a good father, not a single mother. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I can just say. But that's why I think the lady should just copy that example of that lady. Yeah. Not about at all. Me, I'm a part of Mushara. Unanza kizungumingi. Nini, nini. I think I just appreciate the lady. Men are happy, like you've had. It's such so refreshing. And where do where they, where I can see the of the bile on Twitter. Yeah. Where do you think I'm feeling bad? By the way. She spoke. She spoke the truth. No, but wait, 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 that, where are men assuming spoke. that I'm feeling bad? You're feeling very bad. You're feeling very bad. Yeah? Because wait. she has handed everything to the husband. You are feeling very bad. Unajuma. Kiwaru hapa. Guy. Imeni affect. Ayin meru na kuchok. Where am I seeing so much bile on Twitter? I'm not angry. That lady. I, 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 I think what she's doing is a mistake. I think she's making the biggest mistake taking her, her money to her husband. But I'm not angry. <laughs> Where are you thinking I'm, I'm angry? <laughs> Why is every man happy? Why is everybody congratulating that lady? Because that's exactly the way it should be. The man is the head of the family. Later he pays a yote hivi. Apeane direction. You know? Gari ni zako lakini your husband lazima upambe bwana yako hata kama ni wa certificate akue mbele mbele kabisa ala 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 hey ala oh, happy ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is not going on today hello morning maina good morning how are you i'm fine okay i want to say something concerning your topic today please do Okay, you see, the other day you were talking about men living uh, women. Yes. Women living men. Yeah. I'm a victim, minor. In fact, the day you were talking about it, that is the day I was dumped. Uh, yeah, what it happened? Me, and the reason was eh. because of money issues. I don't, I have got money, he does not have money. Eh. But my ma he wants to control my money, of which I do not want. Yeah. So he told me, if you cannot give me access to how you get your money or what you do to get your money uh, and i don't want and you don't tell me how 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 you manage your finances then uh, what am i doing with you then i sh i should leave he walked out he walked out on me told me i've i've left you you can get another man i told him it's okay i told him i'm an iron ready i can do everything for myself i don't need a man to to come and handle my finances so that i become a woman i am an iron lady i can do everything for myself that's what i told him he got so furious and left. Hiya. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm, I'm on my own. And Okay, even before I've been financing, I've been uh, doing things on my own without him. Okay, he has been there just helping me do. When I want to go buy a car, I tell him, oh, can you take me, go and choose a car, he takes me. Oh, can I go and I want to build a house, can you help me supervise the mafundis? He comes. But, for, for, but, uh, but him controlling my finances? That's a no, a big no. So let me ask you, because yeah. he didn't have money, were you giving him money? Yeah, 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 I was giving him a lot of money. He tells me, oh, I don't have money for food. I, I, I send him money. He, he's in a different county from where, from Nairobi. I mean, Nairobi is in a different county. Then he tells me, oh, I don't have money for this. I give him. I, he tells me I don't have money for this. I give him. But he's not satisfied by what I give him. He wants me to give him, like, all my money so that he gets satis satisfied. Hiya. What is the largest amount of money you've, you ever gave him? Mm, a lot of money. It was money for the school fees. I don't want, I know he listens to to, his, uh, to Classic FM. Mm. I don't want to give so much details. He's going to Shikanisha A, B, and C, and he's going to know I'm the one talking. Hiya. So he yeah. left you? Yeah, he left me. He told me, mm, I cannot be with you anymore. He dumped me. He left me. He said, mm -mm, I've walked out. He walked out amazing okay yeah all right thank you very much for sharing your story yeah, thank you thank you hey hey okay have the final word huh? <laughs> close our discussion by god what a day we've had huh? what a day we've had martin karobi good morning saying kenyan ladies are so demanding but most of them give nothing in return Kwanza, pe, kwanza women, wanatuanga pesa wapi? Na Kenya iko na deni, Kenya nzima. <laughs> Uwi. 
My goodness. It is a good day for the men. <laughs> Ricky T. Cruz, good morning. You're saying, I like the way heaven ladies turn miraculous. The Jezebel daughter's thoughts. <laughs> really? Kafagi, kafagi. <laughs> good morning. I love your Twitter handle. You're saying that uh, Sulu does all that despite the being the head of state. Peter Kimachi, good morning, saying if there is a man or husband who qualifies for maximum respect from his wife in East Africa, it is Kenyan men for their efforts of work hard uh, to work hard and provide for their family and the entire village as well. Wow. I want you to have the final word. Hello. Good morning. Yes. My name? Yes. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. My name is Nessiai, but you can call me nice in short. Y yes. I'm a second wife. Yeah. I was, I was, I was uh, nearly poor after class eight. Uh -huh. And my husband was good enough. I found favor in him and he took me to form one to form four to university. Your husband? Yes. Ali kupata wapi ukiwa standard date? Finili opozo wa Masai by my name. Uh -huh. At school my dad thought cows are much better than a daughter. So uh -huh. he posted me. Uh -huh. Then now I have a small company. Uh -huh. It's not so big. I employ around 14 people. Yeah. And I still submit to my husband. Yeah. And, and I respect my, 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 my first wife, the first wife, my co-wife. Yeah. Like my mother. We share literally everything. Yeah. All the children are under me. Take them to school. I make sure they're all learned. Just the other day, two of them um, graduated. Yeah. My first wife. Yeah. My co-wife. Yeah. Children. And life goes on. See, Lazima, see, the fact that my skill to accept me to a woman or buyer, a woman or buyer. See, a buyer, me, I'm going to make a skill. Ila, me, beba, ile. Kimasai, literally. And I've gone to school. He's taken me to school. Still submit to him. You still submit to him and you've got money now? Yes, I have money. I'm done. Mimi don't need a beba boma. Although to kona ngombe pia. So we have, you know, so no jovi lo masi tunaishu. Yeah. Ngombe to kona azo. Nyumba to kona azo. Masamba to menunua. He listens to my advice. So does my 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 co-wife. Yeah. Tuna kachini. Tuna eleona kama familia. Yeah. And life goes on. Si lazima eh, ati kosabu wapata pesa kidogo niende ni muache or something like that. Uh-uh. Oh. My own dad, it's not right to take me back to school. Yeah. I'm sure now he's no he and Afraya, whatever he did. <laughs> I'm sure he does. And listen, yes. well done. Thank you. And please give my love to your family, Salimia, your co wife. I will. And tell your husband, well done, huh? I will. <laughs> Thank you very much, huh? I will, I will. Okay, bye bye.